So you've got a visitor, a new visitor at home? Well, do you remember last year we had a new frog? Mm. Or we thought we did. Mm. He's back. Oh. He's back in at least two sites on my garden. One is the pond, the pandemic pond, Mm. I like to call it. I've forgotten what it was, but it's the brown tree frog. I would say... Actually, he started calling to my absolute amazement because it was cold just after the solstice. So Uh-oh. so I wouldn't have thought a frog would have been affected a great deal by daylight, but mm. clearly this one was, mm. or these two were. Oh, two. And yes, I went to Frog ID, the app. Uh-huh. And I was able to go through all the different recordings of all the frogs. Oh, my God. And How many did you have to go through before you found it? I think uh, Litoria Uingai, as it is called, mm. that, is the com- that is the Latin name for the brown tree frog. I had to go through about 10 or 11. Oh. I did it in the car <laughs> and my, my partner was driving and I played this one. Nope. This one, nope, this one, nope. It was quite distinctive. It is quite distinctive. Yeah. And there's a big gap between calls. Right, yeah. Which is annoying when you're recording. It makes it hard to record them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, this, but this, this frog I never knew existed here in the Highlands before mm. last year. And then we both discovered it at the same yes. time. Yeah, yeah. So, hey. Oh, we very found, good. Yeah. Well, mine hasn't started calling yet. I'll keep you posted on... My tree frog. Bye now.